know what's funny? What I always <laughs> laugh at is so when someone comes and gets a wrap, yeah. whether the car goes from black to white or green or yellow, mm. you come, you pay your money, and you're like, wow, it looks amazing. You've come, you're paying your money, and it looks exactly the same. <laughs> and that's the whole point of PPF, right? Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. I am standing next to my new Porsche 992 GT3, which I picked up a few days ago from Porsche Reading. Thank you very much, Tina and David, for the awesome service at Porsche Reading. If you've not seen the reveal video, there's a link in the description below. Have a watch of that. Now, today's episode is all about security and protection. So let's get the car into the workshop. Right, the first thing we're going to do is fit a front and rear dash cam. Now we sell quite a few different brands and different models. One of the best brands is Thinkware. We are fitting a Q800 Pro, which comprises two cameras. Now this has got a host of features, the specs, are all in the description below. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about this camera or any other cameras, just click on that link below in the description. Basically, you've got night vision mode, you've got motion detection, you've got speed camera alerts, uh, and so on. So let's grab the engineers and get these fitted. Right guys, that's it. Front and rear dash cam professionally installed. Now, if you are after a dash cam, our details are below. Drop us an email or a DM and we can quote you accordingly. Um, before I get into stage two of protection, I've got to give a big shout out to good friend Bally, who at very short notice came over and gave the car a very light machine polish, just to ensure that it's uh, swirl free and there's no blemish in the paintwork. So the next stage is to drive the car from Hayes over to Enfield and drop the car off to Yanimize for, no, it's not having a vehicle wrap, it's having PPF, paint protection film. The whole car will be protected with film. I do intend to drive this car hard. It's a GT3, so I intend to use it accordingly. And I want to protect this amazing paintwork from any stone chips. So uh, I will, drive very carefully to ensure that I don't get any stone chips on the paint now. But yeah, let's get over to Yanimize. Okay, so we're in the PPF bay and we've got this lovely Crayon GT3 and it's going from gloss back to gloss again. So it's gonna stay exactly the same as it is, but be uh, protected. The front end's quite difficult in this car. Wings are really curvy, going around all this headlight, all in one piece. And uh, we're gonna start cracking on with the doors onto the rear quarters. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get moving. Okay, so we're in the plotter room now and we're just about to cut the rear quarters for the GT3. And basically with every car that we, um, we cut the panels for, we try to save um, space wastage. It's really important over the long, uh, long run. So basically rear quarters, we're nesting them like a jigsaw so it fits in between each other.
So guys, I am here collecting the car from Yanimais. It's been here 10 days or so, complete PPF. And we've got the main man here himself. And you yeah. bought the sun. I bought the sun as well. Oh yeah, you will. I'm really good, I'm really good. There she is. Wow. You know, the thing is with a PPF, you can't really tell the difference. And that's the whole point of PPF, right? Do you know what's funny? <laughs> what I always laugh at is when someone comes and gets a wrap, yeah. whether the car goes from black to white or green or yellow, mm. you come, you pay your money, you're like, wow, it looks amazing. You've come, you're paying your money and it looks exactly the same, but there's no actual difference But the difference it. is I can drive it now. Whereas it's before protect. I couldn't drive it. Will you drive it though? I will drive it. No, but I... drive it like you stole it, drive it? Once I've done the running in miles, yes, I will. And I tend to do that with my cars. So track? I will track it at some point, but I haven't bought it as a track toy. I'll enjoy it. And that's why I bought the car to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I will use it. And now obviously being protected, it means that I know if I'm on the motorway behind a lorry and it's thrown up crap, the car is safe. That's the most important thing for me. Great color choice. Thank you. I do like crayon. It, it looks, listen, Bab's got the GT3 in blue yeah. and his blue's nice, but. All right, so here's this a question. a little bit different. Oh. Silver or black wheels? Because this is quite a bit controversial, especially with my staff at work and friends. The problem is the black wheel is the obvious way to go forward. Hmm. The issue with the black wheel makes the wheel look smaller. Because you are with a light colour and because you've got the black down the side with the carbon roof and you've got... Uh, I think uh, black wheel will work, mm -hmm. but I think with the way everything's changing in the car industry, I think the silver wheel is... I, I, I agree wheel. with you. I'm glad I went for the silver wheels. I had black, one, black wheels on my old 991 GT3. I never liked them when yeah. they came with the car. Um, so yeah, I'm chuffed to bits, protected. She's fully protected and she's ready for you to drive. Like, I think I've driven her more than you have. Obviously not here, I just drive in and out. <laughs> in and out. Mine okay. is still the same, we don't drive yeah. customers' cars. <laughs> but um, literally you've got driven from there, into there, to the back, to back, to get washed and then it's yeah. there ready for you. You've done a great job, absolutely smashed it. No, um, I'm glad you're Possibly happy. one of the last cars coming out of here having PPF, eh? Out of this unit, yeah. So I think that is, I think there's four more after this car. And that is it in Privileged. Enfield. <laughs> Privileged. And that is it in Enfield. There's, um, yeah, and then obviously everything will go to Milton Keynes, okay. uh, where Yanomai's and Urban partner up. But, sure. um, but yeah, you're one of the, the last five. I think, I think this is car, I think there's four more. This was five drop down. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. There is your lovely key. Thank you. You can now finally enjoy her and, um, yeah, she's pretty. Well, congratulations. You did well a great done. job. Thank I wish you. you all the best. Thank you. And um, guys, See you later. Take care. See you later. Wish you all the best as well. Cheers. Right, guys. Just left uh, Yanimais on the M25 back to Hayes. Fantastic service from the team. Um, they even made me a fresh number plate while I waited. Uh, again, thanks to Yanimais and the team for an amazing job on the PPF. The car is now protected and I'm happy driving on the M25, knowing that if I do get a stone fly at me, it's not gonna damage the car. So happy days. Um, so yeah, now what are the next plans? Well, I've got to do 950 miles in this car. So I've done 107. I've got to do another 840 odd miles uh, for the running in service. It's not really a service. It's more to run in the gearbox and the diff from what I understand. So once I've done the 950 miles, I'll take it back to Porsche. You don't need to. I'll take it back to Porsche. Just do an all service, uh, an all refresh. And then I can open it up all the way up to that red line of 9,000 RPM. So next couple of weeks, there'll be a few additional road trips that I'll do just to get those miles done and uh, get that service in. I've also got to bring it back to Yenimais for half an hour to an hour, just so they can check that the PPF is fine, it's not lifting anywhere and so on. Once we've done the running in miles, I think what I'll do is I'll go with the uh, video crew, maybe spend a day in Wales, get some of those open roads, those twisties, 
and really see what this car can do. And obviously, you guys can hear that engine at full chat at 9,000 RPM. So guys, hopefully you like this episode. It's a continuation of my first episode, which was the delivery episode. If you've not seen that, uh, there's a link in the description below. Uh, tap that and you can watch that. Obviously share our content and make sure you've subscribed to the channel. There's a lot more content coming your way, not just about the GT3, but some of my other cars. And obviously Cast TV does have other elements that we do bring to the channel, such as our car and coffee meets. Um, uh, new products that have been released in the car audio and the tuning sector and so on. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Smash that like button and I'll be back again uh, on the channel very soon.